In this video, we will discuss about the seven reasons why you are a lazy software tester. All right, so let's get started. Hey guys, welcome to Testing Academy, and we are discussing about why you are a lazy tester, or are you a say, are you a lazy tester or not? Okay, so let's discuss the first reason, basically, which is basically you don't read the food requirement and start executing the work whenever there's an application. So you have given this web application. you have this requirement which is a brd prd which is business requirement document or a product requirement document that is given to you but you didn't basically read that document fully or you basically skimmed through it and you start executing your test cases or you start preparing your test cases and do it trust me you are lazy this will lead to production bugs this will lead to couple of uh, uh slippage of the production bug and this will impact your qa respect and your career also so make sure don't be so lazy please improve your uh improve your knowledge regarding to the requirements understand them one by one prepare your test cases from the requirement see the exit criteria entry criteria in, uh, in scope and out of scope requirement okay make sure you do that so discuss the requirement discuss and prepare test cases around it create a test plan for it if you don't know how to create a test plan make sure you go to testing academy channel there is a is is test plan in necessary test case test scenarios i have given all the example download template with the template also make sure you do that okay uh, second point you are lazy is basically you give vague estimates vague estimate basically means uh, for example there is a login uh, login page for a particular product which you have given to test it out and you said it will take 2 weeks to test and this is really really vague because we all know if it is a simple login page for that application it will take around 2 to 3 days max to test it out right even if you prepare your test plan test cases test execution bug report and even refixing that bug it will take around 2 to 3 days but don't give the vague estimates or a fake fake estimates this will give you a this will basically uh, in decrease your credibility within the team okay so don't give vague estimates or don't be too lazy on this you are unaware about the update uh, updates on the stage environment this is really really important for the experienced folks who are working as a software tester you don't know about the requirement you don't know about the different staging environment you don't know what what is deployed which branch is deployed and when we are going live if you are true you are trust me you are too lazy to software tester if you don't know about it a software tester should be proactive they 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 know about the staging environment they actually handle those requirements uh, staging environments which branches are deployed they know should know and they should be aware well aware about their environments this is really important make sure you do that okay don't do that don't become a uh, fluffy on this okay uh, i want you to be proactive make sure you aware about all the staging environment branches where you are going to test these are your tools right if you if your tools are not sharp enough you will not able to cut that tree okay so make sure you do that uh, you rarely sync with the developers or stakeholders you are too lazy i have seen you don't share any reports or updates with them you have given a project on monday you reply on the next monday that i have done my testing and within within that no uh, you have not shown where you have created your test cases where you have given your test cases uh, what is the bugs Uh, bug report daily daily confirmation of the test cases nothing no updates you are giving right so you are truly a lazy software tester don't do that don't become that only bugs are not important share your progress how you are testing it your risk appetite uh, discuss the test cases with stakeholders also okay peer review uh, you are avoiding the documentation you don't create your test plan test cases and bug report i know in most of the startup they don't create test plan or test cases but trust me this document will save you whenever there is a production bug i have given multiple example if there is any production bug they will uh, directly point pinpoint the qa where is your test cases and if you don't have the document you are gone okay so make sure you do that the sixth important point is you assume the working and you will think that it it will work cause of production bug we basically means you assume that it will work as it is okay so let me give you simple example there was a e-commerce website where there was a button related to contact us in a real life scenario where i thought it's a, i assume that it's a, it should be there right and after that it was a production bug and that bug caused a lot of uh, revenue loss because people were clicking that button and they thought website is not working and they are completely not buying that product okay due to that okay so make sure you pay attention don't be lazy on this don't assume anything ask the developer confirm with them raise a bug in the jira raise a concern over jira if they if they, it is a not a bug you can do that okay 
you don't share risk and the deliverables often so you are truly a lazy 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 software tester if you don't share your deliverables what are the deliverables the deliverables like test plan test cases your bug report your risk report uh, risk report i mean to say risk related things uh, what can go wrong if we fail the test cases so you avoid peer reviews you avoid your documents right don't do that don't become uh, so lazy software tester i want you to be a proactive software tester where you are ready with the every documentation and you are good to go and you own the responsibility of your product okay make sure you do that thanks a lot for watching this video i hope this makes sense i hope this will this video seven points will help you to become a more productive and proactive software tester all right i'll see you in the next video this is your host pramod bye